Welcome back. So this is a melange of topics. This is a little bit of workshop my life and this is also addressing uh, corporate America, which I made a video about a couple of months ago. Um, I will be sure to link it in the description just about how the great resignation is corporate America's karma. And uh, I shared a story about the last role that I was in and how toxic it was. And uh, the fact that this role was just such, it's been so enlightening. It's, it's been a huge boost to my spirit. I've had just time, more freedom. Um, I mean, of course the pay increase has been incredible, but you know, everything is for a time, right? I knew coming into this job that uh, this would be my last role in corporate. Um, I actually remember being on a date in 20, yeah, 2022, March 2022. And um, yeah, just telling him, yeah, I'll be out of corporate soon. I'm, you know, planning my exit. And he was like, oh yeah, I'm thinking, you know, about eight, 10 years down the line. I was like, oh, I mean like two years. And I'm on track. So that's pretty exciting. Once you put your faith in God, Lord, just walk in the footsteps and it'll get you there. But I digress. Um, all the goodness of this job is just crumbling brick by brick. And I'm so glad that I have the self-awareness to not fall for it. So long story short, um, they did not meet sales targets and are now trying to cut their losses, finding new and interesting evil little ways to get people to quit um, to force people out and considering the fact that I was hired, um, designated remote, work from home. It's not remote. I can't work anywhere in the world. I'm designated to work in the United States and uh, a number of my teammates are scattered like in different time zones, like totally not on the East Coast, not near Charlotte. And uh, they're doing this like trickle back to the office and like doing it by orga like organization and designation. It's all tricky and gross. Like y'all are not fooling anyone. They're just trying to do it in a way that one um, doesn't blow up the entire organization where everyone either quits or is forced out. Um, they're just like dangling a carrot until it's time for you to get the ax. Um, and everyone's seeing through it, which is nice. Um, but what has been disappointing is how much people are feeding into the bullshit energy. Like the amount of time folks are spending on Teams chats, like co-miserating. I can't do the co-misery. It solves no problems. If you know the acts soon come, make your plan, follow through. Don't wait for the acts to chop your head off. Like, <laughs> you can divert. Um, so, I mean, it's it's essentially like and every couple day thing where <sighs> we're having some kind of group chat powwow. Like I, I love that the managers are so like transparent and they want folks to feel, you know, like they can vent and support it and yada yada. But at the end of the day, just, just find solutions, figure out what you want to do Stop being afraid of the hatchet. Get ahead of it. Um, 
And uh, yeah, it's just, this, I wouldn't, this isn't like a, I mean this, I don't even know what to call this. It's so ugly, it's like, <sighs> you almost just hope that they would just let everyone go at once to stop, you know, the bloodletting, but yeah, I think the thing that like keeps me grounded is that I know that corporate is not my end goal. This is not the end for me. It's a new beginning. I don't know what's going to happen with this company. They seem to be desperate and flailing. For folks who are trying to, you know, do what they can to hold on to this job. Do you really want to stick with this kind of company? Like, employees have way more rights than we exercise. And of course, the biggest right of all is to pick up and leave. Um, yeah, I just see beyond all of this and I'm planning ahead, planning way ahead, like months, weeks, months ahead. Um, and it's just, it's, it's right on time. This has been happening for months now, like since February, just little by little, they've been like letting go different pockets of people and reorging. And it's been really interesting um, watching how my teammates and colleagues have reacted. Like people have been snarky, people like for about the people who were let go, like people have been snarky and real smug, like feeling really confident and comfortable in their job. Like this is not gonna happen to them. Um, arrogant. And a lot of these folks are now running like weasels. Um, and it just, it shows you, man, you gotta carry yourself with grace in times like these. You don't point and laugh. Don't be an asshole. Don't wish things on people no matter what they've done to you. Because we're all in the same boat. No matter what happens, we are all in the same boat. That boss that you think is going to advocate for you, they can get let go. Because that's what happened, like, what, two months ago? That, that happened. Bosses who were advocating for us got let go. <laughs> so I would like to think that people are learning, are, are getting hip to what's going on, and aren't feeling secure in the lies that they're being sold. Um... But uh, I mean, I, I'm at the point where I'm radical. I feel like everyone has something to contribute. I feel like everyone can branch out on their own. And it doesn't even have to be starting a tech company or designing clothing or whatever. It, we all have our place in society and our place is not sitting at a desk making millions, billions, trillions for some corporation. Like our value lies elsewhere. Um, and I just hope that people acknowledge that and try to find that and cultivate that. Because this, this yo-yoing, this up and down, this one week corporate does this and you're feeling secure and the next week they say something else. It, it, there's just been so much miscommunication and it's just been quite clear that they don't care. Like they could care less about people's livelihoods. Um, so yeah, the fact that you work at a job where you dedicate at least eight hours of your life a day, a third of your life goes to this company. 
it's time to reevaluate what you want to do with those eight hours. Is this worth it? This emotional roller coaster, this, you know, emotional work, period. Um, but yeah, that, that has been my week and it's been, honestly, it's been a wonderful wake up call. I get these wake up calls. I've been getting these wake up calls every like week or so. It seems like over the last couple of months, like there's always that little reminder, get to work, like get to work on your work because this work right here is temporary. Um, so I know that there are lots of companies throughout the country that are scaling to go back to work, whether it's because of tax incentives or because of, you know, trying to bridge profit margins and cut losses or whatever. Don't take it personal. They're doing what they have to do. They have people to answer to and you have people to answer to. You have yourself to answer to. You have your family. Uh, you have your higher self to answer to. Go after what it is you need to do in this lifetime. Um, don't stick at a job. Jobs are like buses. You get off one, there's another one right behind it. They're always running. If you need to take a break to explore, I don't know, sabbatical, to go travel, work on that idea that you've had for the last decade, do it. Because these mofos will keep stringing you along until they're good and ready to let you go. Um, yeah, so this has been a week, especially this last week, full of lessons um, and like, full of insight into my own journey. Like I really have found my center, my peace, because with all of this going on around me, all of the co-misery, I have opted out. I know folks are probably looking at me like, she don't talk to us, she don't participate. No, because y'all energy's messed up. I don't want to absorb any of that. I wish y'all the best. But I'm not going to participate. And you don't have to participate. It is what it is. So, yeah, that was just my message to follow your heart, your soul's journey, whatever passions. Don't get stuck in desperation. Corporate is only temporary for all of us, right? Because eventually, even if you do stay in corporate for 40 years, whatever, you're going to retire and you're going to want to know who you are outside of this job. You're going to want to follow passions or whatever. Might as well get started now. <laughs> get started on those passions now because you don't know what that could turn into for your life. It could turn into something way bigger. Um, so that's my message. Follow your heart and get the fuck out of corporate with love.